Good morning and welcome to this worship service. My name is Carmen Little and I'm a lay leader with the Chetwin Shared Ministry. It is my pleasure to be able to worship with you today. We begin with our call to worship. God knows each one of us personally and God loves each one of us. We thank God for such wondrous love. We come this day into the presence of God. We come with overflowing hearts. We celebrate God's mercy and compassion Praise be to God who offers us hope. A new year always brings a sense of hope, doesn't it? This previous year of 2020 with all its tragedies, problems, disappointments, failures and sadness is now behind us and a clean slate lies ahead. The old has passed away, the new has come. We all ushered in the new year and now are well into it. But is it really a new year? It's all still the same. Nothing's really changed. If anything, passing from the season of lights, glitter, and carols to the season of dark, cold, bleak midwinter is, well, quite depressing. And the news from around the world and right here in our own backyard doesn't help. As one newspaper commentator wrote, reality seems to crush hope at every turn. Also, many of us are feeling personal pains or anxieties going into this new year. Some of us are wrestling with important decisions regarding relationships, work, or a task to be done. Some know firsthand the powerful effects of disabling disease or worry about health issues in the upcoming months. Some have had to deal recently with a major loss. Some wonder if we can make it into the coming year without the presence of one who meant so much. Some of us are just feeling very lonely, in spite of all the people around us. Some of us fear is growing old or fear that the future, what the future may hold. Some wonder if dreams will ever be realized or whether 2021 will even be more frustrating and filled with feelings of futility than the last. Many are feeling the pain of anxiety. When we feel this way, the temptation is to stay with the familiar and the comfortable to crawl back into bed and pull up the covers, or to sneak into the manger with Jesus, where it's warm, safe, and secure. The temptation is to stay where we are, in the dark crevices of depression or defeat, fear of foreboding, in the deep ruts of sameness, boredom, or lethargy. But this is not the way of the Bible. Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 through 6. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the people. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together, they come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels will cover you. The young camels of Midian and Ephah, all those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. Epiphany, with its emphasis on a light shining in the darkness, reminds us that life continues on, that revelation and growth and new beginnings loom on the horizon, that new roads appear ahead, new roads that will take us, if we choose to let them, into new adventures, new challenges, new opportunities to be the persons God wants us to be. Epiphany reminds us that life continues on, even as one year ends and another begins, one season following another as they sing in the song, Sunrise, Sunset. Now the Magi, also called the wise men or the three kings, who bring their gifts to the Christ child, illustrate this movement. These Magi were probably astrologers from the East, perhaps from Persia or Babylon, our present day Iran and Iraq. They believed that human destiny was written in the stars, and though they were learned men of their day, we would consider many of their notions superstitious today. Nonetheless, the wise men agreed upon one thing 
as many of us do. They believed that human events were influenced by a power beyond this world. The Magi from the East were inquisitive, adventurous, obedient to their calling, and seek no honor for themselves. They humble themselves before the Christ child and offer sacrificial gifts of great value. After they offered their gifts, the Magi realized the danger in returning to King Herod and leave for their own country by another road. They don't hang around to bask in the beauty of the babe. They don't stay where it's comfortable and secure. They set out on another road, a new road, a different road than the one they'd been traveling upon. They move on in their journey of life, and so must we. For us, the manger is only one stopping place on our journey of faith. And while the tranquility of the manger may move us deeply, it should never transfix us. The rest of Christ's journey and our journey remains to be traveled. As we continue in this new year, embodied so well in the spirit of epiphany and the reality of life moving on, a fair question for us to ask is how can we move on? The answer may be found in the refrain from an old church camp song. And I'll bet you remember this one. Rise and shine. Isaiah tells the people of Israel to arise, shine, for your light has come. They no longer have to live in darkness, and nor do we. Rise and shine, get up, begin again. There is more to come. There are new roads to travel upon in the new year. But there are also powerful forces working against this directive. Apathy, lack of confidence, our physical or mental state, extreme caution or timidity, all these tend to hold us back. Worse than any of these is fear, disabling, crippling, immobilizing fear. Fear, by whatever name we call it, can prevent us from doing so much. Cautiously, timidly, tremblingly, we venture forth upon God's promises, as though the lightness of our step might make the promises more secure. Yet, at the same time, we doubt that they are true. God has promised to be with us. Believe this promise. God has promised to uphold us no matter what. Believe this promise. God has promised to grant us victory over all spiritual enemies. Believe this promise. God has promised to grant us full and free forgiveness of our sins through and because of Jesus Christ our Savior. Believe this promise. Don't creep upon these promises as though they were too fragile to hold you up. Stand upon them, confident that God is as good as God's word and that our living, loving Lord will deliver them as promised. Maybe you've heard the expression, even if you're on the right track, you'll get run over if you just sit there. It's true. So in 2021, let's get up and get going. Let's rise and shine, knowing that it is God's light that empowers the light within us. This sounds like a great way to take on 2021, doesn't it? But it won't be complete until it, we finish the old camp songs refrain and give God the glory. We do this by living thankful lives, thanking God for the blessings we've received and by sharing the good news with others. We do this individually and together as a church. The mission of the church, as Paul implies to the Ephesians, is to reflect the light of Christ to point to Christ's work in the world, to declare Christ's redemption, to reveal the mystery, to make known God's wisdom, but perhaps most important, to mirror and imitate Christ's love and deeds of mercy. And this is our individual mission as well. We need to go tell it on the mountain, over the hills, and everywhere that Jesus Christ is born, and that we have been born into and embraced by the light of Christ ourselves. Millions of people today live in spiritual darkness because nobody has told them they no longer have to live there anymore. Part of giving God the glory is sharing the light of glory with others. Each of us has a new road ahead of us. It's another road, a different road, than any we've traveled on before. As we step off down that road, not knowing what we may find, not knowing exactly where we're going, we can be comforted in knowing that for sure the light goes with us, leading us, guiding us, showing us the way. God will be with us on our journeys down that new road ahead. Even now, God is calling to each of us, whoever we are, whatever our circumstances, 
calling us to get up off of our hands and knees, to stop creeping and rise and shine and continue on the journey, giving God our praise and sharing the good news with others along the way. Some of us may be thinking, well, that's fine for the younger folks, but I'm too old to be thinking about starting off on any new roads. Tony Robinson wrote, there is grace here not just for the young, but for the old or older as well. It's not hard, is it, to see possibility of new life and new beginnings when we are young or in the lives of the young. It may be more difficult to imagine such grace and newness when we are well beyond that time of life, when the future is no longer so open or full of promise as it once seemed. All the more reason then to receive the gift of this part of the story, the promise of grace and new life, not only for the young, but for the not so young as well. Grace happens. Surprise and new life can come no matter what our age. Look today for the surprise of God's grace in your life, no matter what age you are. A New Year's Eve poem I came across concludes with these words. With courage, we face the future. With more memory, we sing the old year out. With hope in our hearts and voices, we face the sunrise of God's new dawn. So let's sing to the new year. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. May hope dwell in our hearts and voices, and may that sunrise, the light of Christ, shine brightly on each of us as we journey on the new road we'll be traveling in 2021. Let us, God's people, pray. Patient and wise God, we offer our prayers for each other, for those near and dear to us, for the situations of difficulty and strife in community and world. You hear our voices cry out with your eternal compassion. You respond in loving care to each of us. You remind us that you are with us always. What have we to fear? But we fear far too often the unknown tasks that lie ahead of us. We always want to be assured of the happy outcome of our efforts. Help us to trust your guidance and presence, Lord. Help us remember that there is no time in which we are out of your care. Enable us to be in serving ministry and mission with joy and confidence. Heal our wounds, bind our bruises and broken spirits. Put us on a pathway of peace. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. From the very beginning, God has blessed you and planted within your spirit the words, I can do all things through God who strengthens me. Do not fear the task God sets before you. Rejoice, for God is with you every moment and God's love watches over you always, healing and nourishing your life. The Lord knows you and loves you. Let God's light shine in the darkness so that others may see the good works and glorify God. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Jesus has seen you, waiting for the call to ministry and mission. He calls you now to open your hearts to those around you, to people in need, to those who sorrow, to those who just need someone to talk with. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Just as God called others, God is reaching out to you to be a witness to God's awesome love and power. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. You won't hide it under a dark cover, will you? You won't extinguish it because you're afraid and feel unworthy, will you? Will you let God's light shine through your life? Will you brave the deepest darkness with God's light in your life? Then, beloved of God, let the light shine on you, in you, and through you always. Praise be to God. Go into God's world aware of God's call in your life. Follow our Lord Jesus Christ who will lead you in paths of service and hope. Lean on the power of the Holy Spirit to give you courage and strength. May peace, joy, and love flow through you to others in God's name. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. <laughs>